Kentavious Caldwell Pope has established himself as a premier role player on winning teams, helping the Lakers win the 2020 championship in the bubble, then playing a big part for the Denver Nuggets in their 2023 run. In this video, we're going to do a deep dive on the film and break down how KCP affects the game on both sides of the ball and how his skill set brings the Orlando Magic everything they're missing. Now offensively, the first thing we have to look at is KCP's outside shooting. This past year, the Magic averaged under 11 three-point makes per game, which puts them last across the league. And that was clearly an issue for their team in the playoffs last year against the Cavs, where that lack of perimeter shooting caused the paint to be clocked up, giving their playmakers no room to operate. And even though the Magic have some really talented individual players, while also having a top 3 defense across the league, 3 point shooting is still a must have in the modern NBA. And that's exactly what KCP brings to the table. Into the corner, Caldwell Pope, over the past 2 years, Kentavious has shot over 40% from 3. When shooting off the catch, KCP gets both good lift into his jumper, while also having swift mechanics allowing him to rise up in over heavy contests. And this allows him to capitalize on really small shooting windows, making it tough for the defense to help off him. We'll see the tall and lengthy Evan Mobley sink down and gap. And once Caldwell Pope receives his pass, he's got the speed and lift to get the shot up. When shooting off the catch, KCP also has really clean footwork by constantly moving his feet into the pass to then catch with a stable base ready to fire. Notice on this play how Aaron Gordon delivers this pass to KCP's right side, but watch how Kentavious is going to skip across to then catch with his feet set, allowing him to immediately rise up. We can see the same thing going the opposite way here, where Jokic just passes out to his left, and KCP again moves his feet to meet the ball. Now these may seem like super small details, but this plays a huge factor in KCP being able to shoot off the catch quickly, which again allows him to punish his man for just slightly helping off him, and that will lead to Orlando's stars getting more room to play with. KCP also has the ability to crit and make shots off the dribble. These may not be looks he takes in super high volume, but he's still more than just your standard spot up shooter being able to attack and pull up into open space, hit closeouts with his shot fakes and flybys, plus having some moves in his bag to create space on the perimeter. One of his go-to moves is this left hand as he pull up, where Kentavious brings the ball to his outside pocket, then takes an aggressive left right to push the defense back. Watch him here again bring the ball to his left side, then aggressively step left right, which pushes this defender well below the three. So whether he's shooting off the dribble catcher move, Caldwell Pulp is a pretty consistent outside shooter. And that's one of the many reasons why he's been able to effectively play alongside superstar caliber players. And that floor spacing by itself is going to make the game much easier for Paolo Bencaro and Franz Wagner. So because the defense has to respect Kentavious as an outside shooter, he commonly draws heavy closeouts off the catch, which gives him the leverage to initiate these drives. When attacking these scrambles, KCP has a really good feel of leverage by attacking into the defense's momentum, making it really tough to slide and stay in front. You'll see Alex Caruso here scrambling out to the three, and notice how KCP is going to rip right into his gravity forcing Alex to both stop and turn his hips, making it pretty much impossible for him to recover. When finishing around the basket, KCP also gets pretty good lift off the floor. I wouldn't say he's the most advanced finisher, but he's got the ability to pop up and create finishing angles in the air. We'll see him again here beat this closeout on the catch, to then elevate up and attack the shot blocker's body. He's going to use more of that physicality on this play, where Kentavious turns the corner off the screen, and he again initiates contact to keep that outside finishing angle. When attacking these closeouts, KCP also has the ability to create in the mid-range, where he can both use that lift to rise up into open space, plus use his strength to initiate contact and bump to create space. Now, I wouldn't say KCP is a super advanced in-between score. He's not the kind of guy who's going to navigate off screens or size up his man in isolation, 
but Kentavious still has the tools and shot making to attack into open space and rise up for clean pull-ups. And that skill along with his slashing makes him a decent player to have working off these handoff and pin down screens. So offensively, as a role player, KCP checks all the boxes. He's a consistent and versatile shot maker. He can leverage that shooting threat to play downhill. Plus, he's got the athleticism to do some damage in the mid-range and around the basket. That skill set makes him a perfect off-ball weapon for the matchup, where KCP can easily be a double-digit score without dominating the ball. Now when switching over and looking at KCP's defense, this is arguably the best part of his game, where over the past two years he's been the Nuggets most reliable perimeter defender, where he both has the foot speed to keep shifty guards in front of him, plus the size and length to switch up, and hold the zone against bigger wings and forwards. You'll see him here sit in a stance and stay in front of Jaden Hardy's initial attack. Then he's got the stability to absorb this contact and force him into this difficult 10 foot push shot. When defending on the ball, Contavious also has ridiculously fast hands, where he's great at timing the offense's pickup and getting these downward swipes as they gather. You'll see him here defending Luka Doncic in the post. And as Luka picks up and turns towards the middle, Kentavious is going to reach across and swipe the ball free. On this play, KCP is now chasing his man over this pin down screen. And as his man picks up and exposes the ball across his frame, Kentavious is going to automatically make a play on the ball. On the ball, KCP is also elite at navigating through and around screens, which in today's game might be the most important skill set for perimeter defenders to have, especially when going up against elite scores. When fighting through these picks, Kentavious is great at eating up the space between him and his man to then angle himself back in front of the ball. And a lot of this comes back to his foot speed because there are times where Contavious initially gets clipped by the screen, but he still has the mobility to scramble down and disrupt the ball. I like this play here, where Anthony Davis is going to set the scroll screen, and LeBron is initially able to get this outside driving angle. But watch how KCP is able to work his way back in front of the ball to then disrupt this finish. So Caldwell Pope's ability to navigate through these screens and take on a variety of perimeter matchups will make him a seamless fit in the Magic's already versatile defensive roster. And Contavious also brings a ton of value defending off the ball, where he's got really good anticipation and awareness in gap, which allows him to make countless of possession-saving plays each game. I love this clip here, where the Timberwolves are running the split action, and Alexander Walker is going to slip back door. But from the top side, Contavious is able to scramble down and swap this layup off the glass. KCP's screen navigation also plays a big factor off the ball, where again, he's elite at staying attached to his man and blowing up any off-ball screening actions. So when looking at everything KCP brings to the table, I think he's nothing but a plus for the Magic on both sides of the ball. He may not move the needle much as an on-ball creator, but he does give the Magic some desperately needed outside shooting. And defensively, he's got the tools to fit in pretty much any lineup. I'm not sure how much KCP can push the Magic forward in the playoffs, but I still think he provides a ton of positives.